Okay, it is almost time to start uh, the old investigator or the final round. Let me just introduce uh, about that. Uh, two days ago, you have a um, uh, first round of competition and then you chose uh, uh, final I am Junan Ho, Department of Kinesiology from Inai University. Today, I'm, I, I'm going to present exercise training, attenuate mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis in sarcopenic obesity rate model. I'm going to talk about the following contents. First, introduction. According to the previous studies, aging induces sarcopenia through various factors such as mitochondrial dysfunction, apoptosis, inflammatory cytokines, and hormonal changes. And obesity induces sarcopenic obesity in elderly through inflammation, insulin resistance, and hormonal changes. However, the relationship uh, the between uh, the relationship between sarcopenic obesity and mitochondrial function, insulin resistance, and apoptosis has not been clearly understood. As we already know, it is well known, exercise training uh, improves the systemic and cardiac effects in our body. However, the role of exercise training in sarcopenic obesity induced mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis has not been clearly elucidated. Therefore, the purposes of this study were to explore the impact of high fat diet induced obesity on mitochondrial function, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis in aged skeletal muscle. And, to find the effect of exercise training on mitochondrial function, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis in sarcopenic obesity rate model. The following is method. The eight male acid rats per group were divided into four groups. First, first is young control, second is old control, indicating sarcopenic model, third is old high fat, indicating sarcopenic obesity model, and last is old high fat plus exercise group. This study had been conducted for seven weeks. After seven weeks, mitochondrial function, insulin resistance, and an apoptotic proteins were measured through mitochondrial function technique, uh, OGTT, and Western immunoblot. blood. Uh, I briefly want to introduce our lab new technique to measure mitochondrial function. So first of all, to separate myofibers through dissecting microscope and my, uh, microforceps, like this picture. And second of all, permeability with saponin to destroy the saccolemma membrane. And third of all, Wash the myofibers and finally mitochondrial hydrogen peroxide emission as RS marker and mitochondrial pressure retention capacity was measured through a spectral fluorometer. The result of this study. The first graph is final body weight in the groups. By sarcopenic obesity, the increased final body weight was represented compared with young control as well as sarcopenia, indicating that 
Uh, sarcopenic obesity was induced by hunger death in aged skeletal muscle. But these graphs are muscle weight to body weight ratio graphs. In soleus, the soleus muscle weight to body weight ratio was not significant among the test groups. However, in gastrocnemius, uh, gastrocnemius muscle weight to body weight ratio was decreased in old control, old high fat, and old high fat plus an exercise compared with young control, demonstrating that sarcopenia was induced by aging. The following graphs are mitochondrial function graphs. The first is mitochondrial hydrogen peroxide emission SRS marker graph in, uh, in glutamate stage, which is complex one substrate of mitochondria. A mitochondrial hydrogen peroxide emission was increased in sarcopenic obesity compared with sarcopenia. However, exercise training attenuated mitochondrial hydrogen peroxide emission compared with sarcopenic obesity. The next stage is a succinate, which is complex 2 substrate, and glycerol 3 phosphate, which is lipid substrate, represented the same result. In both stages, uh, mitochondrial oxidative stress was increased in sarcopenia compared with young control. By sarcopenic obesity, mitochondrial hydrogen peroxide emission was more induced compared with sarcopenia. However, exercise training attenuated mitochondrial oxidative stress compared with sarcopenia, sarcopenic obesity. <coughs> The next graphs are mitochondrial calcium retention capacity graphs. In soleus, mitochondrial calcium retention capacity was not significant among the test groups. However, in white gastric nebulous, mitochondrial calcium retention capacity was reduced compared to in sarcopenia compared to control. By sarcopenic obesity, mitochondrial calcium retention capacity was more decreased compared to with sarcopenia. However, exercise training improved mitochondrial calcium retention capacity reduced by sarcopenic obesity. Uh, this graph is an uh, insulin resistance graph. Uh, please look at this sarcopenia model, which is black circle. There is only increased trend compared with young control, but not significant. However, by sarcopenic obesity, which is white square, uh, increased blood glucose level was indicated compared with young control as well as sarcopenia at any time. However, in exercise training group, which is uh, gray uh, square, uh, decreased, decreased blood glucose level was indicated in 30 minutes and 120 minutes, uh, indicating that uh, insulin resistance was induced by sarcopenic obesity, although indirect. The next graphs are apoptotic proteins in soleus. The back specific ratio in soleus, uh, which is uh, Early stage of apoptosis was increased in sarcopenia compared with young control. By sarcopenic obesity, the back species to ratio was dramatically increased compared with sarcopenia. However, exercise training attenuated the back species to ratio increased by sarcopenic obesity. In white gastric members, the back species to ratio was increased in sarcopenia compared with young control. By sarcopenic obesity, the back species to ratio was more induced compared with sarcopenia. However, exercise training attenuated back species to ratio elevated, compared, or elevated by sarcopenic obesity. In summary of this study, sarcopenia with aging induced mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis. By sarcopenic obesity, mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and an apoptosis was more induced compared with sarcopenia. However, Exercise training attenuated mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and an hypothesis in sarcopenic obesity model. Uh, this study is an uh, ongoing study. Therefore, the additional mitochondrial hypothesis, insulin signaling, mitochondrial dynamics, and mitophagy will be analyzed through various experimental methods. And finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Hua for giving me a great teaching, and I'd like to uh, thank my members, uh, Mihan No, Suji Yu, and Jae Ho Yang. Thank you for your attention. Uh, very good timing. Uh, five minutes uh, Q and A from the floor, please. Thank you very much. My name is Kishin Kim from Kimeon University. Uh, do your data, do you can, you can find, you can, cannot find the significant difference volume 
Mr. Pipe, depending on Mr. Pipe's time, for example, the solar house must say. Yeah, left side, I don't know, back side. Yeah, yeah. Taiwan, you cannot buy solar house. Yes. Yeah, but by uh, volume, you no know, change. Yes. But then the, your a public is bar. Yes. The solar house you can buy. Yes. So, cigarette <coughs> activation. What do you think of the difference data? The volume between volume and the apoptosis marker, so result is so different. Why? Uh, only in action retention capacity. Yeah. Uh, although, well, although it is not select content among the test groups, but it is only uh, trend among the test groups. But in my uh, but I, the soleus marker, soleus muscle, you cannot find the significant difference between the group. Yes. But and the apoptosis markers, so it's so there's yes. yeah, it's different. Yes. But uh, what? Why is so visual different? I think um, I think it is a different situation of experimental uh, experimental situation. So. It is not a simultaneously measured, we don't simultaneously measure by the formula section of the study and a part of the So it is, a, it is only an experimental situation. I am sure usually it's working by Apira because. Yes. So it was, uh, but in spite of we cannot find what's the volume to change, but at a approach is from study measure. It's very important data is so. Yeah. Uh, how do you differentiate between sarcopenia and other metabolic disorder obesities? So what's a, what's, there's a fine line. Your definition, you seem to separate it. Can you explain that? Yes. Uh, according to the, this, this graph, uh, through this graph, we... No, I'm just asking you your definition for sarcopenia and sarcopenic obesity. Because your obesity is caused by sarcopenia, but it could be caused by all. What, what's your definition? I'm not very clear about that. Only sarcopenia and sarcopenic obesity yes. is the definition. Yeah. Sarcopenia is muscle, muscle mass uh, through... Muscle loss. Uh, uh, muscle, muscle loss, Muscle yes. loss uh, through various factors, exactly. such as aging. Aging, yes. yes. And muscle. various diseases. And sarcopenic obesity. Sarcopenic obesity is uh, sarcopenia plus obesity in uh, the composition of muscle. Yeah. Uh, is it muscle based or is it um, other metabolic disorders also can cause obesity? Yes. But you have to have a clear definition for that. That's what I'm asking you. This is kind of a competition, but we, we have enough time. So, sarcopenia, for your information, is aging-related muscle loss. Yes. Sarcopenia. Sarcopenia obesity is aging-related muscle loss plus percent increase in body fat. That's obesity. So, like, aging population, they can lose muscle, but they will increase their percent body fat. So, that's my question. So, there is no, there's no unanimous agreement about the criteria for sarcopenia obesity, it's a hot topic. So what's your criteria in your study for sarcopenic obesity? Uh, oh, as, you, as, you, as, you, as you know, Dr. As you know, uh, uh, the criteria of sarcopenic obesity has not been uh, set yet. So I just uh, simply, simply I just simply set of sarcopenia and sarcopenic obesity on high fat diet uh, simply, simply a diet. So, so I. So did you measure personal body fat of the rats? So you should have some kind of criteria. But you can say this is obesity or not obesity because you simply do on a high fat diet. This does not mean they will, you know, become obese with a big rat. So what was your criteria? Or what is the uh, method to determine this is obesity or this rat? So if you 
Vietnam going to say Vietnam or Alaska? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, to me, it's caused by other overseas, <coughs> by other factors. But the definition is not here. Yes. Thank you for your comments and questions. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chan Suyu from um, University of Tsukuba in Japan. Today uh, I would like, uh, like to talk about the uh, combination, uh, combination effect with the mild exercise and ascending diet induced synergic effect through the hippocampal leptin. So for, first, uh, as you know, natural diet supplement, supplement DHA catechin uh, induced uh, beneficial effect from uh, enhancing cognitive function. So generally, we call it this is brain food. Uh, recent uh, a previous study showed that catechin and DHA uh, potentiate the field learning exercise induced the learning and memory function. Recent studies uh, failed to show any synergistic effect with the other uh, diet alone or in combination. Uh, in combination with exercise. So, we uh, should uh, consider the optimal exercise condition and diet factor. So, uh, our laboratory uh, focused on the mild exercise effect on brain function. As you, uh, using the animals, we uh, actually, two weeks of mild exercise so below the lactate threshold of last uh, enhances hippocampal neurogenesis, even uh, six to weeks mild exercise also enhances functional effect to increase efficient learning and memory. So we we conclude the mild uh, exercise uh, could be opi uh, optimal exercise condition for synergistic effect. So uh, as a natural diet supplementation, we focus on the astaxanthin. This this is uh, one of the cartoon nade. We see is the uh, red pigments. Uh, pigments uh, mainly in, in, include in the uh, shrimp and salmon hematococcus. Uh, until now, previous studies show that the ascentin have uh, very, uh, various clinical uh, benefits, uh, cardiovascular healthy and antihypertensive effect and anti-cancer. Uh, recently, the ascentin has also have uh, has neuroprotective uh, effects against the brain injury and the neurodegenerative disease. Because why? The ascentin can cross the brain blood barrier. So recently, our groups showed that four weeks of the ascentin diet enhances the hippocampal <coughs> neurogenesis, also special memory. So we uh, think about the ascentin could be optimal diet factor for synergy effect. So in this study, we investigated whether the ascending diet might synergically potentiate the effect of mild exercise uh, on the neurogenesis and hippocampus. If so, and explore the molecular mechanism underlying the, uh, their combined inter uh, effect using the, this uh, method. So method, we used the uh, adult and wild time mice. Uh, the mice are divided into four groups, as you can see. Uh, control plus placebo as control groups. Second is mild exercise only. A third is the assistance only. Uh, finally, uh, competent group is a mild exercise with 0.5 astaxin diet. So for exercise uh, groups, we gave uh, 30 minutes of treadmill learning. So uh, at the seven meter for me, uh, this is uh, obviously the below uh, voluntary test hold. So after four weeks intubation, we measured the special learning and memory using the Morris Water Maze. And then also we uh, evaluated uh, other type of neurogenesis by injecting the uh, BRDU, uh, which is the mark of the neural neurons, into the results. As you can see, Exercise also enhanced special uh, memory performance. Interestingly, as you can see, the combination group further in increased compared to the compared to the control, also compared to the 
uh, Aztec urban groups. So, uh, this data indicated the effect of the mild exercise assessing urban uh, on special memory but further enhanced when combined with the both intervention. So next, we evaluated the uh, hippocampal neurogenesis uh, using the KI6, uh, KI6 marker for uh, proliferation and double positive uh, with BLDU anyway is a mature neural neurons. In the post result, as you can see, mild exercise and aspects alone also increased the hippocampal neurogenesis. Interestingly, uh, the combination groups further enhanced the uh, hippocampal neurogenesis compared to the both single groups. So we tried to the uh, potential molecular mechanism by using the omics approach using the microarray and biometrics inform tools. As you can see, the Venn diagram analysis showed that 134 unregulation gene and three downleg gene uh, overacted between their mild exercise alone and combination groups. I showed that on one list, this is commonly up and down regulated genes. Over there, among them, we focus on the leptin. Leptin is the unregulation of the leptin by my alexa alone, or further elevated the combined it with combina combination. Actually, uh, pre recently previous studies show that the leptin has a uh, neurogen effect in the hippocampus as a new and novel lowers. So we, consider, we suggested, uh, this is the sense that leptin may be a common molecular factor behind the combined yield of mild exercise and acetylene supplementation. So we uh, confirmed the leptin level in the hippocampus. As you can see, the combination groups uh, still, uh, uh, dramatically increased the uh, leptin level. Uh, compared to the control and further even the single, <coughs> single intervention, which is also strongly correlated with the special memory performance. However, uh, the plasma leptin level is uh, no difference between groups. Also, no, it is not correlated with the special memory. So, this result suggests that the brain drive the uh, leptin, but not the atmosphere to drive leptin, Maybe a, a potential target molecule underlying the, the combination uh, of combination of the mild side as something enhances the memory function. So we further investigate whether leptin is required for the, the regulation of the sensitive response of the special memory by the combination combination intub combined intubation. So we using the leptin deficient mice. Uh, the result in special memory, as you can see, the mild exercise uh, increases the special memory. However, unlike to, however, however, the combination groups did not increase the special memory. So, the left deficient induced the risk to enhance the special memory in response to the combining combination. In conclusion. So the endogenous hippocampal leptin may be required for strong sensitive response of the hippocampus-based memory function and neurogenesis with a combination of mild of the mild set and sex hunch. Thank you for supporting Dr. Professor and members. Thank you for your attention. We have five minutes for Q and A on the floor. To the mice, mice yeah. yes. Uh, if you change it into the dietary, daily dietary in human, how much astaxanthin in should be consumed by athlete or maybe the yeah, others want to prevent your study? Yeah, you mean the uh, uh, how, uh, translate to human? How how much? How those 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 yeah. of the astaxanthin? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, actually. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how much. Yeah. How much effect on the human? I don't know. But 
Actually, in mice, the 0 0.5 acetylcysteine concentration is uh, maybe high. High. But, but high. I'm not sure how in human. But uh, previous study, uh, one, for one day, is 6 grams of the acetylcysteine increased, uh, increased some beneficial effect in human. Maybe our results also in brain, into the brain, maybe yeah, induce the beneficial effect. What about the source of the acetylcysteine uh, that you use in your uh, Sure, yeah. Uh, originally, the acetylcysteine included some uh, salmon and shrimp. Did you extract it or you, you make a, your own formula? Yeah, formula, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. From the extract of the salmon? No, no, no. Yeah. But this, uh, I, the, our, in this study, the acetylcysteine is extracted from the hematococcus, and not shrimp. Because shrimp uh, and salmon is very expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because in, some, uh, in the world, there are several companies extracted from the hematococcus. But hematococcus, well, extracted hematococcus, is very high quality, high purified. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <웃음> 네, 제가 질문 하려했던 게 같은 질문이라서 답변이 되는 것 같습니다. And secondly, uh, can you explain the mechanism between leptin and hippocampal neurogenesis and uh, and spatial memory? What is the mechanism? I like to know and. I like to know why you use mild exercise, yeah, yeah. and you also interchangeably use lactic threshold and metabolic threshold. So, uh, do you assume that both are same? Yeah. Okay. okay. First, uh, big, uh, actually, mild exercise. We our laboratory previously showed that um, mild exercise uh, is uh, no stress. Actually, in the hippocampal neurogenesis, uh, stress is uh, inhibit in the hippocampal neurogenesis because we use the mild exercise. And the mechanism, and maybe uh, the combination, uh, the combination effect maybe is uh, uh, through the hippocampal leptin, but not uh, prepare leptin. So at the, and then maybe exercise also our another data I did not show today, but uh, exercise alone may uh, alone increase the IGF receptor signaling, but aside no effect, but uh, leptin signal is further increased in the hippocampus. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Feng Chen. I'm from National Taiwan Sport University. Before presentation, I want to thank you, Asia Society of Kinesiology, give me such good experience to present our recent study. Our recent study is the recent relationship between physical fitness types and the white matter in older adults. This is a deficient tensor imaging study. At first, what is white matter? White matter play a very important role in connecting each, each region in the brain. It was examined by the diffusion tensor imaging. And it has a very specific index we call FI. Previous studies found that advancing age was, uh, was neg negatively associated with white matter. And white matter was associated with multiple cognitive domains such as processing, speed, working memory, is that control. This evidence showed that all the adults will, will face significant cognitive impairment. Fortunately, physical activity seems to be a structure to prevent cognitive decline. For example, a quotation study found that there is a positive relationship between physical activity and the white matter. 
Another study also found all the adults with higher physical activity value was associated with higher white matter. Study also found also focused on one of the main physical fitness type, such as cardiovascular fitness at a white matter. They found all the adults with higher VO2P was a social higher FA value. This positive effect not only found in healthy older population, but also found in older adults with mild cognitive impairment and the dementia. However, the majority of study always focus on cardiovascular fitness, but physical activity has several components such as muscular strength, muscular endurance, body mass index, power, and agility, and the flexibility. So our key question was that, is that for cardiovascular fitness, where the other physical fitness was associated with higher FA value? Another question is, where the specific physical fitness was associated with higher FA value in specific region? So our purpose was to investigate investigate the social width between physical fitness type and white matter. Our, um, uh, we recruit 56 participants aged from 55 to 65 years old. All participants complete intelligent evaluation and general physical fitness measurement. We select 48 regions as ROI data. In statistical analysis, we use partial two-tail correlation tests to examine relation of each physical fitness and the FA. The significant p-value was less than 0 0.05. The result of VO2P and FA, you can see X, X line is VO2 peak, Y line is the FA value. Order that with higher VO2 peak, was associated with higher FA value in some regions, such as cerebral pentacle, superior coronal radiant, singular, singular gyrates, and hypercampus. How about other physical fitness? We found there is a positive relationship between vascular and the, and the FA value in that cerebral pentacle between power and the FA value in superior frontal or superior vesicles, between flexibility and FA value in level temperature. Further, we also found there's a negative relationship between percentage fat mass and the FA value in such tone strength in this culture. In, in the present study, we found order that with higher vo 2 p was associated with high FA value in coron radiant and the singular cortex. This result was live with Chai in 2013 and Aubrey in 2016. These two regions primarily important on mediating dog mode network, which involved attention regulation. We also found other than with higher vo 2 p was associated with FA value in cerebral pentacle. This is a region at the front of a big midbrain and it contains large sensory and more motor nerve checks. Collectively, we suggest other than with higher vo 2 p improved attention regulation, integration, and sensory movement. Also, we also found other than with higher muscular strength was associated with FA value in depth cerebral pentatone. This study was like to recent study focusing on me metabolic exercise. This result combined combination of cardiovascular fitness and muscular strength was associated with change in brain value. Although Ho in 2011 found that Body mass index was associated with brain value in white matter. We further found percentage fat mass was associated with higher value in depth superior coral radiant and the temperature. This is the first evidence found there's a 
positive relationship between flexibility and FA value in Templeton and the power between power and FA value in superior, superior frontal and severe fasciculus. Importantly, we found specific physical phenotype was associated with higher FA value in specific brain region. In conclusion, we further support cardiovascular fitness might be an important approach for increasing FA value. We also extend past evidence about other physical fitness seem to be associated with white matter in frontal and the temporal region. Longer, longitudinal study and focusing on the population will be a future direction. And in this direction will extend current knowledge about physical activity and white matter in DTI study. Thank you so much. Right, I'm sorry. Very good. Any questions from the floor? Okay, uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I would like to know, can you share about what exact test item have you used? Because I would like to know whether those tests are reliable and valid or not. For example, what power test, what flexibility test, agility test, or what kind of test have you used? Or even the real 2 peak test. Thank you for your question. This is a very good question. Um, because this is a short time presentation, so i not very specific. <laughs> Introduce the measurement. It's a general physical fitness measurement, right? Okay. Uh, we can classify two, uh, two uh, physical fitness type, healthy related and skill related. Healthy related is related to um, improve your health. Skill is improve your performance, and uh, muscular strength. We use we use um, a hand strength. Hand strength. We can we can know his power uh, uh, about hand power. Muscular and uh, muscular endurance. We use pull pull up and the flexibility. If you all just know, uh, we use a uh, uh, machine. Uh, you, you need to stay here and uh, we, <laughs> we know the, 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 the distance. Yeah. And we have to pick, we, we use a very special uh, protocol because this is an older population. We use, use uh, uh, this protocol, protocol provided by SCSA, SCSA in 2013, which is a uh, YNCA, pro YNCA protocol, and we, we can know is a sub maxima VO2 peak, and agility is a T test. T test. Uh, someone can go go uh, straight and uh, then then go back to the and, uh, and to the beginning. Okay, power is a jump. Uh, jump. <laughs> we, can, we can know the hit. Okay? Do I get answer your question? Yes, but is it very safe and okay for, for those old, old people to, to jump? Okay. Uh, okay for all the adults to jump. Is it okay? Yeah. We, 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 we always protect, protect them and then say, you need. Okay, thank you for great presentations. I got two questions. So, could you explain the why the old adults, not old middle ages adults, they have very high peak level in your data? 70, 70 or... Yeah. You, you mentioned what's the high peak? No, no, no. So many people, they have very high for your peak level in your test, Richard. Fifteen to seven. Uh, maybe, maybe someone just it say makes it. some correlations. I think. Uh, I think uh, the the bridge seems uh, to be uh, twenty or forty, so it's very normal. 
uh, that some very very high might be do a lot of exercise. Okay, and the one more question. Yeah. Yeah. The, could you explain the functional wall is showing positive relations between the wheels peak and, and uh, the FA, yeah, FA, 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 FA level? level. The peak? No, 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 no. Explain the functional wall. You, you have so many correlations. Yeah. So could you explain the what specific functions of that area, brain area? Brain area. Ten seconds to answer. Uh, hurry up. We suggest others that with high, higher VO2 peaks, it will improve their uh, attention and the integration and sensory movement. I hope I, I can I, I, I have to answer your question. Sorry about it.